Hi friends, this is part two of my quick little gift items that you can make using these items from the dollar store and our Stampin' Up! products. In part one of my video, I demonstrated how you could take this little notepad and calendar holder from the dollar store and create these beautiful little notebooks. Here's another one. And when you open them, you have the little notepad holder and the calendar. So that was my part one of how I converted this into one of these little notebooks. Now what I'm gonna share with you is what I've created using these photo garlands that I picked up from our local dollar store. There are six frames in here. So let me get that out and show you. So this is the frame. And I am going to turn this into a fun little uh, Christmas decor piece, an ornament that I can hang on the wall or on the tree or give away. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So the back of these calendar notepads have a magnet. So I saved that from my part one project, if I can find it here. So here's the magnet that I saved from the notepad. Um, from the dollar store. So this can be glued onto the ornament at the end to uh, go on a fridge. So I want to go ahead and start decorating this. So from my um, paper basket, I've pulled out a piece of six by six uh, painted Christmas designer series paper. This paper comes 12 by 12, but I had cut some down for other projects and cards. And so this was in my stash. So I'm going to incorporate that into my ornament. And I'm going to use some of the colors that are in this designer series paper. And I do believe I'm going to use the garden green. So I'm going to pull in my Christmas season stamp set, which co coordinates with this paper. And I am actually going to use this image, which is the same one as this one. And I am um, creating on the fly. This is the first one I've made, but I have an idea in my head of what I want to do. And uh, I like to just put the camera on when I'm doing that and then you can watch the process. So I'm just going to ink this up with my garden green and I am going to stamp all over it without re-inking. And I'm not worrying about getting into the middle of this piece um, because that's going to get covered up anyhow. And I am going to fill in all around so that I have no more, well not too much more um, white showing. And I'm turning it around in different directions and I'm just re-stamping. Now, because this frame is a bit glossy, I will take my heat tool to dry this ink. So I'm just turning it around in different directions, filling it all in. So that is dry and ready to go. Now this measures uh, just shy of four and a half by six. So I'm going to cut my designer series paper to measure four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, so now I have my designer series paper cut. I've actually decided I want to use this pattern. So I'm going to slide this in to my little photo frame. Okay, so that's what I have. Okay, so we know that that fits in well. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now the other thing I grabbed at the dollar store were these wooden shapes. And in these packages were all these stars. And I only have the one left because I sent all the supplies for these two projects to my team um, for their make and take projects for our virtual Christmas party. So, <laughs> so this is what everybody's been getting and I can't wait to see what they come up with when they make these. So the star is going to go on the center like that. Now I also have a piece of our beautiful gold paper 
This paper can be found on page 135 of our annual catalog. This is it right here in the corner. It is our gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I am going to take my star and trace it out onto this paper. So while I could have cut out the dies um, for my team, that would have been really time consuming on top of the time I took to um, prepare everything for them. So uh, this is a good way um, to get a fun, quick ornament together using something that's already pre-cut. That looks pretty kind of good. But I want to trim off a little bit more. So when I sent all the supplies to my team members, I told them they could use these supplies as well as any other Stampin' Up! supplies they wanted to use, retired or current, didn't matter. The whole point is I just want people to have fun and just be creative. And I can't wait for our virtual Christmas party because um, everybody will show what they created using the supplies that they received. It's going to be really fun. All right. That is one nice looking star. So I'm going to glue that on. And the glue is great because you can move this around. So there's my star. Now the other thing I included in their little um, packets were little strips of our cork board specialty designer series paper and this is so much fun. So I'm going to um, figure out how I want to put this onto my ornament. I think I'm going to do that and I am actually going to pull this out now and I will slide it back in when I'm done. It's so much fun just to take your scraps and your different products that you have and your bits and pieces and just play and see what you come up with. All right, so we have that. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of glue, just put it on the top and bottom, and I'm going to slide this back in. So that it is secure inside. And I'm going to slide it so that this strip is in the center. Okay. So I'm pulling in my Inspired Thought stamp set. I'm going to use the Peace, Joy, Love. Of course, it doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to take my, take your pick tool. There we go. Alrighty. So I am going to ink this with my Versamark and stamp it onto a scrap piece of basic white and emboss that with black. I've got a little bit of powder where I don't want it, so I'm just going to clean that up. I'm going to bring my star back in and position these on. I am going to glue those on. I love playing like this. This is so much fun and so relaxing. Now, if you don't have um, these little wooden pieces at your dollar store, but you do have star dies or punches or hearts or whatever you want, just cut out some of those and glue them onto some chipboard and you will be rocking and rolling and you can make some beautiful ornaments like this as well. This would be very fun to do with kids as well. I remember making ornaments with my 
Grandma Erickson, and I actually still have one of my little ornaments, little styrofoam snowman, actually, that I made when I was about, gosh, three or four um, with my Grandma Erickson. And yeah, it's just fun to have and hang on the tree. So I have always loved playing like this. Always, always. Isn't that coming together nicely? So much fun. So easy. Okay, what am I going to do next? Okay, I think, I think I'm going to do... Um, <laughs> I think I am going to cut a bit of this twine. Find my tear and tape. And before I peel that off, I'm going to take my glue. I'm just going to run a small line of glue inside so that this lies flat against my piece. I'm getting glue everywhere, my goodness, and a little bit here. Now, before I stick that down, I'm going to peel off this backing of the tape and grab my twine, and I'm just, can you see what I'm doing? Oops, I'm just putting it on each side. So that it's kind of center of, of that notch. Okay, now I'm going to push it down and push down all that glue as well. Sorry, I got way off out of the camera there, didn't I? <sighs> so just push that down. And this needs a little bit more glue under center here on both sides I do believe okay all right so I am bringing in a piece of basic white and my stamp set I want to cut out some of these pieces to um, to use on my ornament. So I'm going to speed the process up while I go ahead and do that. I'm going to put my star on and I'm going to use dimensionals for that I think because I want that to um, to really pop off a little bit time to start gluing these on and I am just going to go for it And I think before I do anything else, I'm going to make my bow because I can tuck these in around my bow. So I'm using the twine that was in the kit. Okay, so I'm using my little bow maker. I'm going around twice. Wrap this around. Actually, I want that to be bigger. I'm going to open that up. Go around twice. Okay, 
open those up a bit. Okay. Bring this back in and I'm going to use my tear and tape. Now that I got my bow on, I'm going to continue filling in. Alrighty, I don't think I need these other holly leaves so I can save these for another project. So that is coming out so, so pretty. So because I told my um, Screen Stamper team members when they got their little packets for our party that they could use either current or retired Stampin' Up! product um, to create their ornament, I'm going to pull in some retired product and if you've been watching me for a while you can probably guess my dazzling diamonds. Sorry but I have been missing my glitter something awful so I really want to put some glitter on here. So I'm going to bring in my fine tip glue and add some glitter. Ask me how excited I am that I'm using glitter. I don't know if it's politically correct anymore, but I have tons of it and I want to use it and it makes me super, super happy. Um, I don't know if I need more than that though, to be honest. Let's, let's see how that looks before I get a little too crazy. Hello, Glitter, my friend. Where have you been? Oh, how I've missed you. I think that is just enough glitter. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my magnet and my tear tape and I'm going to put this on the back because then I have the option of either hanging this on a wall or putting it on my fridge. And same thing, you know, if I made these for some gifts, which I more than likely will because they're so much fun to make, um, the person that I give it to will also have the option of hanging it on their fridge or on their tree or on a wall. Eek. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna put my magnet right there. Okay, I just had a thought. I have some of these jingle bells that are also retired. I think they were out last year, maybe the year before, but um, I want to put a couple bells on here, I do believe. So I have a little scrap piece of um, gold baker's twine and I'm just going to slide that through. I think I'm gonna put two of them on. I wonder if I want a green one. Let's see what that will look like. It looks pretty and it brings in that holly. So I'm going to go ahead with that. That would have looked better underneath my bow. See, this is what happens, right? Keeping it real, you come up with ideas after the deed is done. So I'm going to lift up this baby. Eek. Grab a little bit more tear and tape. You could use other adhesive. You could use your hot glue gun. But this all works pretty good too. Alright. 
I want this to dangle down just a little bit. And that can go straight up like that. And then some more tear and tape right on top and to hold it down. And then we'll put this back on. There. I think that turned out so cute. So there is my finished ornament. I had the best time making this. This was so much fun. And of course, I've got the magnet on the back. And you know, this was just, this was just playtime. Playing with my products, playing with what I have at home, plus just a few items I picked up from the dollar store. And that's what I hope I can inspire you to do today, or when you have time to craft, is just pull out the supplies that you have and just have fun and just play like you did when you were a little kid which is what i did and you will be surprised of what you can create thank you so much for watching i hope you have fun creating take care and happy stamping